Hello everybody, in today's video I would like to show you guys what are the new features of Windows 11 build 22543. But wait a second, only 5.3% of you guys subscribe to my channel, 94.7% of the viewers don't. Please, for the love of God, subscribe to my channel. I have big dreams with my channel, I can only achieve them with the help of you guys. Thank you so much in advance. So the first thing that I would like to talk about is the new narrator voices. But actually in my build i Start have not received recycle any... bin one of narrator heading level one okay welcome to narrator this Let is narrator just, uh, home, where you can get the help. voice access your se quick settings window so here i don't get the new narrator voices in order to get them i think they will be available later in my build but i can show you a demo of the narrator voices that are there that is Arya and the another one yeah Jenny or Arya these are the two names they have given to the narrator voices let's just do a bit of uh, re check on the voice of the narrator so I'm just opening a random website and now I can just click here and click on read aloud after clicking on read aloud you can click on voice options and select the voice from there for example Jenny is already selected so I will just turn up the volume you can listen to the voice that they have added hope you have looked over the previous article to set up open LDAP on CentOS 7 system found continue another voice is there dash zero two variables and set variables and such within bash you can use variables variables are names that can represent specific information if you remember your days in math so that is a quick uh, sound of the narrator voices that they have added I find that there are several other voices that are there now new narrator command keys command keys are also there that is the narrator plus alt plus the minus key that moves the previous voice moves to the previous voice in the narrator and the narrator plus alt plus the plus key on the keyboard that moves to the next voice in the narrator voice settings also there are updated keyboard commands that include the narrator plus alt plus left bracket key that move to the previous punctuation reading mode and the narrator plus alt plus the right bracket key that moves to the next punctuation in reading mode so there are also other changes and improvements that is uh, they have changed the updated and updated the media controls in the lock screen which I will show you in a minute so let's check them out so let me just do this quick testing let me start playing music and minimize it and I hope it will keep running in the background when I lock the screen okay there we have it but I don't think the new uh, system has been re reflected here no problem I will put uh, the screenshot if it is not the same as shown in the dev channel in dev channel it is with rounded corners and the updated version that actually looks like the one from Windows 10 with those sharp corners not a problem I will do uh, I will show you the screenshot here as you can see this is the updated version of the new flyout in Windows 11 which has been updated to match the designs design language of Windows 11 and it is quite better than the one we have seen earlier so they have also added a new experience of resizing windows so let's uh, close this and start up some light applications let's go for notepad the file explorer and shall we go for the settings yes after adding this to their respective places
when you see I resize the active window, the other two windows become translucent with this acrylic, acrylic background and the app icon in the front. Also a new addition that is the Windows plus Alt plus K that allows us to mute uh, during a call has a new flyout as you can see it shows up over here. So the mic mute option is unavailable cause as of now but the flyout location as you can see is in this part of the window. Very similar to the flyout changes that they have done with volume and brightness also. So the input switcher has also a change in the look with a with a new uh, updated design and acrylic background that is available to all the deaf channel insiders. Now when doing a flu uh, full upgrade the animation logo that is the dot animations that has been changed to a new type of animation that is the new animation that they included in Windows 11. So it's this one as you can see here this same animation has been added up in instead of the dot animation that was present previously so I took a screenshot I managed to take a screenshot I will just show up here so that you can have a better understanding of what change has happened also changes have stick, uh, taken place in system storage and there as we wait you will be able to see in advanced system storage there are several other options and internal design that had been changed earlier so you can also create a storage pool and storage space so if you attach another disk you can create a storage pool over here I don't have them so it's not showing up Now certain options for the drive volume and space like properties are also now directly available in line with those pages as buttons without having to click that entry first. So that is another cho change in this place. Also we see that there is an update of the focus assist logo. If we go to the normal build of Windows 11 as I'm running here, if we go to settings, we see the focus assist has a different logo here so that's it so that's it for this video these are the new changes of windows 11 build 22543 thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one